Craig, I'm sorry I'm late. Something came up. It's okay. Let's go to my office, shall we? Gina, please hold all my calls. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, a little while ago, please sit down. A little while ago, yeah. I, um, I asked you for a favor to use your former connections to find out who is holding Warren Lockridge's Vegas IOUs. That's right, and I had to turn you down. Well, the ante's been up considerably since then. Yes, I understand. He thinks you bought them up, blew them up, and beat them up. None of which I did. But I have managed to get hold of a copy of his IOUs, but I still don't know who's holding the originals. Well, I got the same problem as I did last time. I'd like to help you, Mason, but there's too many strings attached to that favor. Craig, you're in a much more secure position right now. You are C.C. Capel's right-hand man. You have clout. You know, till this minute, the nicest thing you've ever called me since I started working with CeCe was Parasite. Oh, my behavior was just the Capwell equivalent of hazing your rights of initiation. I see. And now I'm a member of the clan. On perpetual probation, yes. Come on, Craig, aren't you at least curious? You must be. Who is this mystery man or woman? How deep is his or her involvement? After all, Warren swears he didn't shoot me. And you believe him? Best people do. Oh, though well, even they must find that his credibility has suffered a little when he ran away. Oh, yeah. Yes. He bailed out. No forwarding address. Probably went back to Southeast Asia. It's possible. At any rate, I know that my father would certainly appreciate your support. With all the difficulties my family is having right now, he doesn't want to see me gunned down in cold blood. And I must say, for my part, I'd rather pay for my own misdeeds, not someone else's. So please reconsider. I need your help. 